I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to screen record on any MacBook out there, including the new 16 inch or 14 inch M1 Pro or M1 Max MacBooks. So as long as you're on macOS Monterey, you should be able to do this. Now this is a very easy process. The first thing you wanna do in order to screen record on your MacBook is you want to open up the QuickTime application. So in order to do this, you wanna go ahead and open up your Finder application like this. You wanna go and click on application, and then you wanna scroll down until you find QuickTime. Now typically it may be under like a utilities folder like this. So you can click here and you may be able to find QuickTime right here. If not, you can always click on the search bar up here and type in QuickTime and QuickTime player will open up and you can go and click enter and this application will go and open up. Now you may not see it at first, but if you look on the top left, you'll see that your menu bar actually changed. So all you have to do here is go ahead and click on file and here you'll be able to select a few different options. So you'll be able to click new movie recording, new audio recording, new screen recording. So guess what? We wanna go ahead and record our screen. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and click on new screen recording and now it'll give us a few options. Do you wanna screen record a portion of your display? If you want to, you can go ahead and configure this type of portion here. So whatever is in the non-dark area, so whatever is in the lighted area, that's what's going to record. Now, if you'd rather record your whole screen, you'll see this little bar at the bottom. You'll see a little option that says record entire screen. You wanna go and click that option and the whole entire screen will go ahead and light up. So if you see this, you are good and you are set. So all you have to do now is click on options and figure out which specific things are good. Do, you, or do all these things look good? These are the, typically the things that I look out for. And as long as everything looks good, you can go and click record. You will start to see this little record option come up on the top right. And now whatever you do, it'll start recording it. So now you can go and keep moving or whatever the case is. And now whenever you're done recording, you just click this stop recording option right here. And it'll go ahead and pull up the specific recording we just did. Now, as you can see, you can go and skim through this whole entire video. If you want to save it, you can go and click this X button here. Now, typically it's usually already automatically saved. I didn't even save it this time. If I go on desktop, you can see the screen recording is right here. So if you want to delete it, you can go and figure it out. If you want to make more screen recordings, again, same exact thing, going to QuickTime, click on file, click on new screen recording, and you can go ahead and modify exactly whatever you want to do here. So that is pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.